Slow sand filtration is ecological purification system. The origin of the name was a filter by the gravel and the sand. John Gibbs sold the clear water to the public. They believed purification was by the mechanical sieving. I noticed that slow means gentle for organisms. Young James Simpson started to work at the Chelsea Water Works Company. He made a newly vertical type of filter, sedimentation basin and vertical filters. At that time, the river Thames was polluted. They called monster soup. The slow sand filter provided safe drinking water, free of pathogens, to residents in London. This filter spread round the world and was known as the English filter. The most clear proof of filtration was provided in 110 years ago. Hamburg suffered from a cholera epidemic and caused more, more than 7,500 deaths, while Altona escaped. When bacteria count were less than 100 colony forming unit per milliliter epidemics of cholera and typhoid were reduced. This idea is very important for the acceptable risk. English filters were introduced in Japan by two British engineers. Henry Spencer Palmer made the first English filter in 1883 and William Kinmont Barton designed water system for major cities in Japan in 1880s. Rapid sun filter by chemical treatment was invented in the United States in 130 years ago. 100 years ago, chlorination was adopted. People loved this new chemical technology in all over the world. Slow sand filter is a natural filter, and rapid sand filter is commercial filter. But addition of chlorine is essential to kill the bacteria. This consumer report gave big caution in the world. Cancer risk in tap water was caused the heavily polluted source of chemical contamination. This is so-called trihalomethane. In Ueda city, Sugadaira Reservoir was built in 1968. Phytoplankton bloom was observed in this new reservoir, and the, the odor problem in tap water occurred in Ueda city. In 1970, pre-coronation had been done in this water works in order to kill the algal growth. After the consumer report, this pre was stopped. Then, tap water became good taste. However, heavy algal bloom in a filter pond was observed. Water works manager said there were good algae and bad algae. Solar radiation leads to the bottom. There is a constant downward current on the sand bed. Only the filamentous algae can grow. Filamentous algae drift from the bottom to the surface by the bubbles which are produced by the photosynthesis. The floating algae runs away from the scum outlet. This filter becomes a continuous culture system of filamentous algae. I made algal mud sampler. Algal flow on the first day after scrapping was almost the same of perphyton in a river, but most cells were empty condition. During the filter run, only the filamentous diatom grew fast and it became active condition. In June, at the beginning, same flora as the riverbed was remarkable, then the filamentous diatom of Merosira dominated. In winter, algae were same as perphyton on the riverbed. Solar radiation increased, 
the inflammatory diatom of mercellar variants dominated. Through sand filter is a suitable environment for filamentous algae. I studied on the role of algal in this system. I recognize this system is ecological purification system. In winter, attached algae just accumulated and these algae become the clogging material. When algal growth was observed, filter did not clog. When tap water had odor smell, they treated precognition. In this time, the clog pattern was similar with in winter. Growing algae is remarkable in summer. All of the floating algae was collected and it was harvested. Active algal growth means an automatic removal of nutrients and suspended matter. Active growth keeps aerobic condition even in the night. My first visit to the Thames water was in August in 1992. Filamentous algae of the blanket weed was remarkable in summer. They told me, please come back in winter. There is bloom of Merozilla. Blanket weed of Cladophora in summer and filamentous diet of Merozilla are remarkable in winter. The biomass in winter is larger than in summer. In winter, algal growth kept the logarithmic growth, but the algal biomass was almost constant in summer. Algal condition in summer is unhealthy. There was a peak biomass of filamentous diatom of Merosilla, then it decreased. After 40 days, coconase showed a remarkable biomass. Coconase was seen as the attached alga on Cladophora. Filamentous diatom was a pioneer. Algal succession was seen due to grazing pressure. In some works, filter run is less than one month. Algal succession did not complete in summer. We tried to add the nutrient into the filter pond, but algae did not grow in winter. However, algae grow well in a bottle and bottle. These environment received enough solar radiation. I checked algal development and midi The seasonal difference of algal growth pattern was almost the same as the Thames filter. Health index patterns are almost the same. In summer, there are abundant of dead algae and fecal pellets of, of mijirabi. Algae and animal grow well at the shallow depths. Shallow depths makes healthy condition of all of the biological communities. They improve to the shallow depths to accelerate biological activity. The biological active layer is very thin. The time passing this layer is only several minutes. The time of ecological purification is instant. Scrapping the surface mat means a removal of biological active layer. This treatment makes bad condition. Food chain is the essential of ecological purification system. Collection time is very short, but there is a long term action in the faecal pellet. Slow means gentle for organisms. Sand and gravel do not move even under high-speed current. Many organisms can live in this environment. Sand is only the habitat for organisms. Micro and small animals collect any particles and decompose them. This is instant purification system. When we rename from slow sand filter to the ecological purification system, we may not misunderstand essential and fundamental process.